Hi there, Dodger fans. I'm Nancy O'Dell. And I'm Kevin Frazier. All right, now let's toss it over to your Dodger Stadium pregame show host. Go Go Blue! Blue! All right, Dodger fans, welcome. My name is Morgan, this is Kate. We are hanging out here, it's a little warm. Game two of this amazing freeway series against the Angels. A year ago at this time, a movement started called the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. And guys, it wasn't just about making funny videos, it was about much, much more than that. Let's check it out. What happened last summer was a start. It started the end of ALS. Anthony has weakness in his upper body. He has no use of his hands anymore. We feed him through a tube. I have to have my brother, my father, or my wife shower me, get me dressed. There's a reason why Pete's not talking, because he can no longer talk. He's in a chair because he can no longer walk. There are many different devices he has at this time because without them, he wouldn't be able to live. Your mind is not affected at all, and yet your body is just completely shutting down and there's nothing you can do about it. Pete was a Division I baseball star. Can I give you a star? Here we were, you know, just newly married, and what are we gonna do? Is there a cure? Is there anything? What can he take? And there was nothing. There was no hope. There was nothing. This is to generate awareness about ALS. (laughs) I sent it out to three of my girlfriends, and it just kind of took off in our town. It was pretty unbelievable. This is for you, Anthony. My network was linked just by one person to her network. For the Quinn for the Win Fund, my brother, Pat Quinn. From there, he passed it to Pete and his network really took off with it. Accepting the Ice Bucket Challenge in support of Pete Freight. Pete's family was commenting, liking, and sharing for the first couple nights straight through. Week one, Boston media. Challenge you. Week two, national media. Week three, celebrities. Week four, global. I've been trying to do stuff for a long time, and nothing did what this did. We would stay up till, you know, one, two o'clock in the morning because we wanted to respond to everybody just to thank them. Feel the ice bucket challenge created some hope. Might have been given a bad break. But I've got an awful lot to live for. One of the best guys I've ever met right here next to me. And that's why we gotta continue to fight this disease. He doesn't think that it's actually gonna help him, but he does think that eventually it will help somebody in the future who's diagnosed. One, two, three. Because he's okay with it because he has me. And Taya. So. This August, every August, please help us do it again. Major League Baseball is dedicating the month of August to ALS awareness. Now, every day of this month, Major League teams are going to be challenging each other to help fight against the support, help support against the fight against ALS. So. Absolutely. And the uh, Boston Red Sox challenged your LA Dodgers this month. So Yasiel Puig and Kike Hernandez stepped up to the plate. No pun intended, unintentional joke there. But here we go. Let's uh, check out Dodger Vision as they took the ice bucket challenge for ALS. Kike wearing his uh, banana shirt, of course. They did it earlier today, and they're, they're such good sports for helping out. Woo! There you go, boys. Probably felt really good today. I'd volunteer to do this right now. Some slow-mo action. Always need some good slow-mo action. Thank you so much, boys, for doing that. Absolutely. Make Great sure, cause. Make sure you also check out icebucketchallenge.org. Let's get together, guys, and let's make this happen. Throwing out today's honorary first pitch. Please join in welcoming to the field the president and CEO of the ALS Association Golden West Chapter, 
Fred Fisher, MSW LCSW. All right, Fred, you can take the mound and let's see a strike. Nice pitch. 